So let's get started. And remember, you can take the top one off, um, but that's the only one that you can take. Okay? And we want to try to make our tall towers tall. What we're going to see here is an activity that's designed to help young kids begin to think about some geometry concepts. So kids are going to be rolling a die to determine how many blocks they select from blocks that the teacher has picked out. And then they're supposed to stack them up and build a tower. She's already made a lot of choices in terms of the kinds of blocks that they're going to work with. These blocks don't connect to one another like Legos. You have to stack them, you have to use gravity, and that means you have to pay attention to their shape and their size. Those things become big variables and the exercise then forces the kids to pay attention to the shape and the size of the blocks. Uh, and it gives the teacher an opportunity to talk with them about what they're discovering. She thought about putting it on the bottom. Would that make it taller? No. no. So she changed it to the top. Yeah. By asking them this kind of question, uh, would this have made it taller? She's leading the kids to think mathematically about what they're doing. You know, they might think mathematically about what they're doing a little bit on their own, but she's using the power of holding their attention and asking them good questions and giving them a chance to express their thinking to help them see the mathematics that is all over the place in this activity. Do you want to trade that one? Is that one too hard to put on? Okay, you can trade it for one. It would be an easier one to put on. I wonder why this is a hard one to put on. She just seized a really great opportunity there. Um, there was a problem with the block. It wasn't working, and they made a plan for what to do, but now she's saying, hey, wait a minute, why didn't this work? And everybody in the group is trying to figure out the answer to that question. <laughs> they all, all want to get their hands on that block, and now she gets to talk about ideas like edge. They're talking about shape. They're talking about size. It's really good geometry. You know why? I think because it's too little. Look, it's too, it's too little. There's a lot of math in the blocks themselves, which is something you'll hear early childhood people talk about, the, the mathematics that's in the manipulatives or in the classroom. Um, and that's certainly true here, but it, it's much more meaningful when the teacher helps everybody talk about it. You want the triangle? You want this triangle? There's another one in there. We need it. Hey, does that help us get taller? You have to put it together. How can you put it added onto our tower to make it taller? What do you think? Does that make it taller? Look how tall that's gotten. Oh, yeah. Okay, Yvonne, that's You notice her using a lot of gesture throughout, and that's important for a number of reasons. Um, one thing that's going on there is she's directing their attention to uh, this visual representation of an idea. Um, it looks like she's got some second language learners there. So um, gesture is yet another way to reinforce a, a verbal concept, give them another entry point to figure out what it means, uh, and that's just true for everyone. Um, gesture is, is another way of communicating the same idea, and it's been shown to be extremely important in math teaching. So all the things that this teacher is doing here, including her use of gesture, the way she engages the children in conversation, uh, the materials that she's chosen, 
and even the way she's managing the lessons so that it feels fair and there's enough time for interesting questions to be explored. All these things combined add up to a really great geometry lesson for young children.